Dynamic Michaela here showing you how to use a great marketing tool called Constant Contact. Maybe you've heard of it already, maybe you haven't. Today we're just going to do a brief overview. Um, there's a lot of pieces to Constant Contact to help you market your brand. Uh, so we're just going to give you an overview and if you have further questions, feel free to reach out to us. So to start, you're going to go to ConstantContact.com and then you're going to log in. <coughs> And from here, it'll bring you to the dashboard. So just to give you an idea, uh, in our top toolbar up here, you have your campaigns, which will list all of the campaigns that you have running. These are emails um, that you might have set up, any automation that you have happening, social media posts, surveys, um, they'll all show up here as kind of your main dashboard. And then you can go to your contacts, and this will show all the contacts that you have um, listed in all of your lists this is just a breakdown so you have lists that you can set up segments you can tag your clients or your contacts as well so it's easier to find certain people uh, and then these are just the contacts and then there's insights as well also up in the toolbar we have reporting so this will give you an idea and an overview of um, previous campaigns that you've had going emails contacts e-commerce it'll all kind of be here in this section and then you can go to sign up forms. Um, Constant Contact allows you to do those if you have email campaigns going out and you want to sign up form in them. You can do that in here too. Under websites and stores, you can set up simple websites. There's lots of tools out there that you can create a website and set it up. Wix is one of them, uh, Squarespace. But you can also do it in Constant Contact and it's pretty simple to use. And then you can set up social media pages as well. Uh, there's a few different features with the social media aspect. Constant Contact is currently working on upgrading this feature, but it is an option. And then there's integrations where there are different apps out there that you can integrate within Constant Contact as well. And then there's a library that keeps all your photos that you might use, templates, um, any clip art, videos, documents, they'll be here in your library. So today we're gonna go over campaigns. So under the campaigns toolbar, you're gonna go over and you can either click on create, or if you wanna copy a previous template that you've used, you can click on more next to the one that you want, and then copy, and it'll copy that same template, and then you can go in there and you can edit it as needed. So you're gonna rename the copy, and we'll just do test, and then click save. From here, you can start designing and editing. So if I want to put in an image, you just click on the image icon over here, and you can click, drag, and drop, and it'll put it right in there for you. And then you'll just click on the placeholder image, and then you can replace the image, or if you have a link that you want to link to the image as well, you can do that here. And then the justification of it, and if you decide you don't want it, you can trash it but it's real easy to just drag and drop. There's action blocks that you could put in there. You could do RSVPs, you could throw in a poll, uh, and then you can click on more and it'll bring up some more options here. If you integrate SurveyMonkey, uh, you can put that right into your email blast as well. As far as layout options go, they have different multiple layout things that you can put in there. Here, you just drag and drop again. You can really do anything you want. Um, on this email blast specifically, these are actually custom images that uh, Dynamic Jennifer created herself and put into the email blast, so you can do that as well. Uh, if you have Adobe or Canva that you use and you want to do more of a custom image, that's a possibility too. You just bring it in as a JPEG or a ping uh, and it'll put it right into the template for you. If you're a Canva user, you can now do that in Constant Contact. Uh, they're in the beginning stages of rolling it out. So it's not quite 100% there, but it is an option for some users. Heading back over to the left side, this is where you can click and add images. You can upload them either from your library or you can upload um, a new item from your computer as well. And then as far as design goes, you can choose different colors for your outer background, inner background, and then your fonts, buttons, dividers, and whatever you want, really. One thing to remember when you are working on your email campaign, 
is you can change the from email. You can add multiple ones in there. By clicking down here, you can add a from address or a reply to address, and then they'll just have you verify it to make sure that it's a working email. And then if you back out of there, and then of course your subject line, you wanna have a nice uh, attention grabbing subject line. You can customize it a little bit um, by using this code here, the brackets. Um, so if this gets sent to a customer, it'll put in their first name or if they don't have a first name set up with their email, it'll just say dynamic friend, need a little inspiration. And then we always suggest putting in a preheader. Uh, you get better results by putting in that preheader. So it's kind of like a secondary title for your email. And then we have ours set to say it's from your dynamic designs friends. Here is where you can personalize as well. Play around with it and see what works best for your business. Once you're done with the overall design, you can preview it just by simply clicking on preview up in the upper right corner. And you can view it as if you were viewing it on your desktop. You can view it as if you were on your mobile device. And then inbox is a um, additional feature so you do have to pay for that. And then also up there you can send a test. So if you want to make sure that all your links are working um, and that all your social media links are working properly and that your videos are linked correctly because you can add videos in here as well um, and test your coupons to make sure that's all working great. Um, you can do a preview and send it to somebody. So if I wanted to send it to Dynamic Lauren, I would type in her email, and you can add a personal note, and then you can send now and it'll send her a test to test it out for you. You can also check for errors. If there's any links missing, uh, this is where you'll catch that and then some other uh, features as well. Once you're done setting up your email blast, you would just hit continue and it'll bring you to the scheduling page where you can then schedule out your email blast. If you have email lists set up, they'll be in here. So if you wanted to specifically send this one to, uh, say we wanted to send it to our social media friends, we would just click on this list and then we can send now or schedule for later and then the time and then if you want, you can get early results as well. And we always suggest um, to resend to the non-openers. And within 10 days, you can schedule out a resend to go out to your clients. Uh, so if they don't open it the first time, uh, it'll send them a reminder to say, hey, have you opened this email yet? Once you're done with that, you just hit schedule and then your email is set to go out to your customers. A cool feature as well, once you send out an email blast, you can see who has opened your email, um, who maybe has an email that's not working anymore, so it'll show up um, as uh, not invalid, but it'll show as you know, like a, it'll be a bounce back email. Um, but you can view all that reporting as well. So if I look at Jennifer's promotional inspiration email that had gone out already, you just simply click on the campaign back on the main dashboard and it'll give you all the reporting details. So this one specifically had 356 opens, 76 resends, uh, and it'll also say who unsubscribed from your emails. And that's pretty much it for Constant Contact. A little bit longer how-to video today, but hopefully it helped you out. Like I said in the beginning, if you need help getting signed up, contact us here at Dynamic Designs and we'll get you going. Thanks for watching.